I'm gonna show you how to make one of the best chicken burritos. Hey Salam, I hope you guys are well. How all of is back for another video and this time I'm making chicken burrito. Burrito is one of my favorites, it makes a great meal. I'm gonna serve over salsa roja and some of the tortilla chips. Trust me, you're all gonna enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's start with the marinade for the chicken. I've got here half an onion, some of these garlic cloves, one of this chipotle chili, some of this adobo paste as well, smoked paprika, some of this chipotle and ancho powder for more flavor and heat. Here with the garlic powder, cumin for some healthy flavor, black peppercorns, here with the oregano, a good pinch of the sea salt, white vinegar, some of this pickle juice from the jalapenos, and finally in with the oil. Now cover and blend this on high speed until it's nice and smooth. All right, let's check this. That looks amazing. Have a little taste of the sauce. Mm. That is so delicious. Perfect. For the chicken I'm using here, breast, you could also use thighs or a mix of both. Now this chicken breast has been sliced from the middle. Now I'm going to add all the marinade into there. I'm going to save a few tablespoons for later use. Now using your hands, give this a really good mix. Now you want to cover and leave this to marinate for a few hours or overnight for best results. Let the chicken absorb that beautiful marinade. For the rice you can use basmati or long grain rice. We're going to let them soak in water for at least 30 minutes and then we're going to wash, remove the excess starch and drain them off completely. Alright, so the chicken has been beautifully marinated, let's cook this. Make sure to always bring it to room temperature before cooking. Turn up the heat around medium and let the pan get nice and hot. Here with a touch of oil and make sure to spread that oil all around the pan. Or when it's nice and hot, we're gonna throw in the chicken always away from you. Round one. Let the chicken cook from both sides until it's completely done. We're looking for an internal temperature of 75 Celsius. Or let's turn the chicken around. The marinade is a beautiful aroma, you can really smell it in the kitchen. Throw in a big knob of butter. Let them melt. Tilt the pan slightly and we're gonna baste it with some butter. All right, so the chicken has been beautifully cooked, now we're gonna remove it. Have a look at that. Just drain off the excess oil and remove it onto a plate. Now give the pan a quick wipe, again touch a file and you want to keep cooking the next batch of your chicken. The chicken has a beautiful char, it has a lot of flavor. Now once the chicken is done, just leave it to rest and then we're going to chop it off. Now we're going to prep a mixture for Mexican rice, in with the tomatoes, half an onion, garlic cloves, one chicken stock cube, one of these pasilla chili is gonna have it with a smoky and fruity flavor. Finally I've got here one roasted red bell pepper and a touch of water so we can blend this. Now you know the drill, cover and blend this. Fire. Now just set that aside for now. Now let's cook it, turn up the heat to a medium, it with a good touch of oil. Now when the oil is nice and hot, throw in the rice. Make sure the rice are completely dry before you add this in. Now first we're going to toast the rice. It's going to have a bit more rich, nutty flavor to it. We're looking for a light brown color on these. Make sure to constantly mix it so we get a nice color from all sides. Or once the rice have been beautifully toasted, have a light brown color on them. I'm just going to remove them onto a plate. Now light edge of oil in the same pan. Add in the tomato and chili paste. We're going to cook the rawness of this paste for a bit. So it's been simmering for around 8 minutes. I'm going to season it with a good touch of salt. Some of this cumin. A really good mix to that. Just cook the rawness of those spices as well for another minute. And now we're gonna throw in our rice. Give that a really good mix. Here with the water, some of this oregano. A good mix to that and let this cook until there is some water left. Best to leave it covered. Let's check this. Or we can see there's some water left. At this point of time, I'm gonna cover it with a clean kitchen cloth. Turn the heat to low. Place your lid. And you wanna let this steam for around 13 to 15 minutes on low heat. All right, let's check the rice. Bismillah. Those look so good. I'm just gonna fluff them up with the help of a fork. One of the best Mexican rice that you're gonna try. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna garnish those with some of the fresh coriander and a squeeze of this fresh lime juice. It's gonna have a bit of the freshness, a bit of the tang that we're looking for. Have a little taste of those rice. Bismillah. Mm, those are amazing. Of a mouth-watering Mexican rice. Done. For the black beans, we're gonna keep it simple. In some hot oil, throw in some onions. The heat is on medium. We're gonna golden brown these onions. Okay. 
I'm throwing the jalapenos, some of this fresh coriander, and I'm just gonna toss it around for a few seconds. There is so much flavor going on, we don't wanna complicate it too much. Season with a touch of salt and some black pepper. Toast that black pepper a little. Oh, it smells amazing. And that mixture you wanna throw in your black beans along with some water. Mix that. We're going to let this cook for around five to seven minutes and then we're gonna turn off the heat. All right, so that's exactly what we're looking for. Feel free to mash some of these beans. I'm just gonna turn off the heat and remove it. Our delicious black beans with some jalapenos and onions, done. For the guacamole, we're gonna start with making this paste. We're going to use half of the onion now and half later. One green serrano chili, you can get rid of the seeds if you want. Over this fresh coriander, we're going to use juice of two limes, just zest one of the limes. It's gonna allow freshness, a bit more flavor into there. Now cover and blend this until the texture is nice and sweet. All right, so that looks perfect, just set aside for now. Now you're going to finally chop the other half of the onion. Also finely chop some of the juicy Roma tomatoes. And finally some fresh coriander along with the stems. Grab your ripe avocados. I'm going to slice them in the middle, just like so. Smack that with your knife and you're gonna twist it slowly and that should come off. Now with the help of a spoon, I'm gonna remove all the flesh. Trust me, one of the best guacamole that you're gonna try. Now with the help of a fork, I'm gonna mash this up. It's really up to you how you like the consistency. You like a bit chunkier or you like a bit more sweet. Now throw in the coriander and onion mixture and I'm gonna continue to mash this a bit more. Our right, so that looks perfect. Give it our coriander and tomatoes, our onions, Mexican oregano and a good pinch of salt in there. Give that a real good mix. It smells amazing in the kitchen. The best way to taste it is to grab some of the tortilla chips and grab a scoop of that. Look at that. Smell that. Wow, that's perfect. Have a mouthwash in guacamole. Done. Guacamole goes perfect with some of the tortilla chips, burritos, tacos. For the salsa roja, in with the Roma tomatoes. In with the red serrano pepper. You can also add some of the jalapeno pepper in there. One chipotle pepper, quarter of an onion garlic cloves, it with the zest of fresh lime, it with the juice of fresh lime as well, it's gonna add a bit of the sourness that we're looking for. Bunch of fresh coriander along with the stems, Mexican oregano, season with a good touch of salt and black pepper, and finally some of this water so we can blend this. Now cover and blend this until you have the desired consistency. You know the drill, I'm gonna try with some of the tortilla chips. Mmm, that is so delicious. Adjust any seasoning if you need to, but this is perfect. Our amazing salsa roja. Done. This is one of my favorite salsa. It goes amazing with some of the tortilla chips, tacos, enchiladas, and so on. Now for the pico de gallo salsa, I'm with the finely chopped onion. It with the juicy Roma tomatoes, serranos or jalapeno chilies. It with the freshly chopped coriander. It with the juice of fresh lime. Squeeze that in properly. And finally, with a good touch of sea salt. A really good mix to that. This pico de gallo salsa is gonna be amazing. It smells really fresh. Let's have a little taste. Mm. Once you take a bite, you can't stop eating it. And just anything if you need to have a mouth watering pico de gallo. Done. Or let's cut the chicken into small pieces. Final. Now remove all that beautiful chicken into a bowl and add the leftover juices from the chicken onto there. The chicken looks so mouth-watering, trust me. Or right, let's grab everything. Guacamole, pico de gallo, black beans, salsa roja, Mexican rice, chipotle chili chicken. You will also need some grated cheddar cheese or you could use any of your favorite cheese. And some of this sour cream that has been mixed with fresh chives. Or right, let's start prepping our burritos. First of all, lightly warm up your tortilla from both sides. Add the chicken into this bowl, some of the leftover marinade and some salsa roja. Give that a mix. But let's prep this first generous amount of the rice goes onto there, just here in the middle. Some of those beans, our amazing chicken goes on there. A little bit of the cheese, some sour cream, like to add it on the top and just on the sides. Some of this guacamole and finally some of this pico de gallo. Now this is how you roll a perfect burrito. Grab the right and left ends. Just make sure everything is in the middle and spread all the mixture in the middle using the sides. And now just take the bottom part to the end. And you're gonna tuck everything, bring all the mixture towards you and roll it tightly. You win. Take a look at that cross section. That looks beautiful. Once everything is nicely closed from both sides, if you want you can toss it, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. 
serving you with some of these tortilla chips and some of the salsa roja with pico de gallo of a delicious chicken burrito. Mm. Done. That looks so delicious, so irresistible. You guys gonna really enjoy this. Now if you guys want, you can also serve this in a bowl. Alright guys, I'm gonna try this, it looks so delicious. First I'm just gonna try some of those rice along with the beans and guacamole. Some of the pico de gallo and uh, salsa roja. Bismillah. Mmm, wow, that is so delicious. Let's try some of the tortilla chips with the salsa roja. So mouth watering. This is an absolute treat, it's perfection. Or right, let's try what chicken burrito now, look at that. Let's try it, bismillah. Mmm. The chicken is so, so flavorful, and along with those salsas, it goes perfectly. One of the best chicken burrito that you're gonna try. I'm absolutely in love with these chicken burritos. You guys have to try it with some of the sour cream. It has a really nice touch to it. The chicken burrito was prepped perfectly. Great thing is you can even freeze these and serve them later. Listen, I just wanted to take a moment and say, free, free, Palestine. Can we please get this video to 5,000 likes and please share with your family and friends. I would really appreciate it. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, make sure you like. Inshallah, see you next time. That's it then, salam. Make for your mom. Make for your dad. Make for your family. Enjoy.